The Wake County Board of Elections staff is busy this time of year as they prepare for the upcoming municipal elections next month and in November. This is also a busy past few months for my guest, Gary Sims, who was selected to succeed longtime director Sherry Poucher, who recently retired. Gary, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Eric. First, uh, since this is your first appearance on Wake Up TV as director of Wake County Board of uh, Elections, can you share with the viewers a little bit about your professional career? Well, actually, I've been in Wake County already since 2007. I've been serving as the deputy director in, in Wake County since that time. And before that, I actually was a director in Wayne County. Uh, so I worked for the Wayne County Board of Elections. So started there back in 2003. Um, before that, I was actually an elections investigator working with the State Board of Elections and also working uh, kind of a quasi a dual role. I was actually working also as a computer consultant uh, with them. Um, so been doing that since 1999. And your challenge is coming up really quickly. Municipal elections vastly approaching next month and in November. Uh, can you share with us what races are up for grabs? Okay, well, first of all, just need to make sure that Wake County citizens know that what we have coming up next month and in November is going to be um, municipal races only. So that's what we got going on for 2015. Uh, so number one is if you live in the city of Raleigh, so in other words, you're a resident of the city of Raleigh, then you're going to be eligible to vote in October. And then, of course, if, you live, if you're a resident of Cary, you'll be eligible to vote in October. Now, when we get to November, those are simple plurality races. So that's where you'll have towns like Fuquay, Verena, Wendell, Roseville, um, any of the other municipalities, those elections will be held in November. Have there been any changes to precincts since the last election? Well, actually, we're, we're happy there's been a change. Precinct 2013, uh, we were very grateful because the county commissioners uh, granted us funding in order to split that precinct. That's one of our western uh, precincts that we had and it's been experiencing some of our highest growth. Wake County, as you know, is growing. So we were very fortunate to get funding in order to split that one. So we actually turned that one precinct into three separate precincts. So we're hoping that the, the residents there will be happy with that because obviously the larger the precinct, potentially longer lines and so forth. So uh, that's probably one of our biggest ones. We just mailed out voter cards to all those voters that lived in that precinct. So and that precinct was getting close to 9,000 voters. So, oh, wow. Yeah. So we were very happy that we were able to split that. There's been a lot of talk uh, recently about uh, changes in the voter ID laws and you know, I think a lot of voters would just like to know what to do in the upcoming uh, elections and if it affects them in October and November. Right. Um, well, there, there are some changes that are actually part of the law right now. And of course, there always could be changes that happen before we get to 2016. One of the big things, uh, not only the Wake County Board of Elections, but the State Board of Elections has been working on is just educating voters, making sure that they're ready for 2016, making sure that they understand what types of identification they may be required to provide next year. And also other changes that may have happened, that did happen, were things such as making sure that you register in time. So don't sit around and not get your information up to date because Really, you have to have your registration in 25 days before every election. So we're really trying to get the word out there. We want you to vote, um, but in order to vote, you got to get registered. But we, we do make it very easy for you. You can go to the Department of Motor Vehicles whenever you go, go there to get your address updated or anything for your driver's license. You can also do it online through the DMV. You can go to any Wake County Public Library in the county and get registered there. And the libraries then will get the registration form back to us and we'll get you processed and we'll get you out a brand new voter registration card within seven to ten days. Interesting. And how can citizens get more information about the upcoming election? One of the uh, best resources we have, um, not just out there on the media, but we do a lot of work on putting all of our information on our WakeGov website. So um, please go to our website, take the time. We put information out there as far as who's running for office. We put additional information out, out there. Uh, we put every type of resource. In other words, if we get a phone call, we try to figure out how to put it on our website. So, and most, most people right now, they have access to the internet. Or again, I'm gonna market the Wake County Public Libraries. 
every library has a computer you can go to. You can do your research there. Okay, guess Gary Sims, Director of Wake County Board of Elections. Again, congratulations on your new Thank position. You, and uh, I'm sure your staff will be quite busy in the next few months. Yes, sir. Thank you. Coming up, there is a unique library program aimed at providing teens with unique leadership skills. Stay tuned.